Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have created this look right here inspired by this whole lilac trend that is going around and I have created this look with a very new eyeshadow palette in my collection which is this Lacme Absolute Infinity Eyeshadow Palette. So now the backstory to this is that I really don't prefer Lacme Eyeshadow because they are not that pigmented honestly and this retails for about 9.95 that is a thousand bucks. So uh, there was a sale going in Nykaa uh, which is when I picked this eyeshadow and I got it for 600 rupees which according to me is such a steal because this eyeshadow is so pigmented like the pinks over here I'm going to swatch a few of them to show you I've taken these two pinks and this green shade over here you can see it is so pigmented with just one dab of my finger I'm really impressed with this eyeshadow palette so my thoughts about this palette I'm going to tell you while I'm doing the eye makeup and um, about the fallout pigmentation and everything I'll discuss in detail while I'm doing the look but other than that, uh, I'm highly impressed by this palette and I'm not going to rant any further and get into this video. But before that, please do like, share and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And let's get started. So I'm starting off with a face mist. I'm using this toning mist from Good Vibes. It is in the variant Lemongrass and it smells really good. So you can definitely try this. So I'm using it as a toner. Moving forward, I'm going to use this Good Vibes Saffron Moisturizer. So this moisturizer is not heavy for my oily skin. I'm going to very lightly dab it all over my face and rub it in. Next I'm going to conceal as usual. I'm using this LA Colors Concealer. So I'm going to go with two concealers. I'm going with a lighter concealer first and I'm going to first highlight all the high points on my face and also I'm going to use this as a base to my eyeshadow. Doing a little bit of spot correction here and there. And that's a funny face. Using this another concealer from the same range, I'm going to just apply it below my contours. I'm going to go with a cream contour today. I'm using this Wet n Wild Cream Contour Stick. I'm going to lightly dab it to the contour areas of my face. A little bit on my nose and jawline. And then blend it all away. As you can see it is so easy to blend. I'm in love with this concealers. I cannot stop using this concealers. Now moving ahead with my foundation. Today I'm using this Lacme 925 Primer Plus Matte Foundation. All the shades and everything will be mentioned in the description box below. So don't forget to check that. As I've already concealed, I'm going with a very light hand for my foundations so that my face does not feel cakey. Just dabbing it wherever I feel I need a little bit of more coverage. This foundation is pretty good and they have a variety of shade. So kudos to Lacme for that. Done with my foundation, moving on to the powder and I'm using this Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I'm going to take both the shades and highlight and contour my face. I'm very lightly baking under my eyes to catch any fallouts from my eyeshadow. Also a little bit below my contours to just give it a sharp edge. And then dusting it off all over my face wherever I get oily. And then as I mentioned I'm using the same contour shade from the palette and applying it onto the cream contour. I'm using very light hand, nothing heavy, just to set the cream contour in place. Now 
moving to my eyebrow i'm using this revolution pro eyebrow pomade this is a really nice eyebrow pomade so i'm just going to follow the shape of my eyebrows for today i'm going to set it with this palladio eyebrow gel it's a really nice eyebrow gel i sometimes use it just on its own and now comes the best part the eye shadow so before i start with my lakme eye shadow palette i'm just going to dab a little bit onto my crease to give that monochrome lilac effect so i'm using this makeup revolution pro palette just making sure the pigment is enough and now comes the hero of the whole tutorial the lakme eye shadow palette and i'm using the lilac shade from this palette i forgot to show it but as you can see it is so pigmented and it is so good like this is just one dab of my brush and that's the amount of pigment i'm getting and mind you it does not have fallout whatsoever i know i have baked but then this eye shadow did not have any fallout and here i'm back with my lashes i'm going to remove of the bake and then move on to my blush so i'm going to use the blush and highlighter from the same palette this is from sugar I'm applying the blush very lightly. I did not want anything heavy other than the eye shadow on my face. Highlighting the higher points of my face. This is a really pretty highlighter, not very stark or in your face. Moving on to my lipstick, I'm applying this Nelf lipstick. So as I mentioned that I wanted to go with the lilac vibes this lipstick was going so well with this whole eye shadow look I thought of lining my lips a little bit to get that definition so I'm using this Miss Claire lip liner So I'm going to end it by setting my face with this Wet n Wild primer plus setting water it is in the variant cucumber making sure everything is nicely blended and that's it for the final look so that was it for this look i hope you like this look i am in love with how this has turned out I'm going to meet you for the next video until next time bye take care